So we're going to start um, with the string family. And first of all, I've got sort of my four different rubber bands here. which is a rubber band box guitar, it's in your instructions. But now the next thing is to make something like a tubiola or a tubulin, and that is this one right here. Now the way you have to do this first is you have to take a pretty substantial cardboard tube, and you can see just how thick that cardboard tube is there. And then the next thing is you have to put some slits into it to make sure that, that the uh, strings are going to get anchored. There's two different strategies of doing the slits. One is just to use a little pocket knife, pretty sharp. I'm going to do one side like this, so I'm going to go three slits, nice and easy. Obviously, this is a step that you probably want to do rather than children doing. Okay, and then the, from the other side, going right to make sure that the three slits are over there, I'm going to use the other strategy, which is using a coping saw, which is a pretty thin blade with some pretty small teeth, and just sort of making sure it's set up the same way. And like that, like that like that. And those are our three slits on that side. Now the next step is to take the fishing line. And this is like 40 pound test uh, fishing line. You can use lighter uh, gauge fishing line as well, but the problem is that it gets softer as it gets lighter. So this is, uh, I like 40 to 60 pound test. Making one knot, and I'm going to make another knot, and that double knot at the end there means that I can put it inside one of these slits and pull it nice and tight like that. So you can see it's pretty well anchored there. Now the next step is to put it through some kind of a resonator, and the resonator that I've been using are these uh, sort of dog or cat food cans. They're pretty thin aluminum, and what you have to do is you have to poke holes into it. So I'm going to poke three holes going across the can, kind of like that. So one there, like that, one there, and one there. So you can see the three holes going across this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of that fishing line thing, which is still unattached to the other side, and put it through, making sure that this corresponds to this hole there. I'm going to put it right through like so. Pull it out the other side. And then on the other side, we have to attach it as well. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to make a knot, just like I've done before. But this time, it's a little bit further along the end of the tube, so it has to be pulled tight. So I'm going to make a single knot and a double knot, just like so. Stretch it on so it goes right into the slit, and then you slide this off to one side. Now you can see what's going on is that the can is actually interfering a little bit. So there is a trick to that, and the trick is to bend the can a little bit so that it sticks kind of like that right there. And then you can see that a little bit better in this example right here of the finished instrument with three different strings going across to the three holes anchored in on this side and the little bend right there so as the can stays nice and tight. So you can play it like this. But since this is a tubulin or tubiola, you probably want to put it up like this. And I've got my sort of fake bow here and... Not quite Bartok but, or Schwantner, but there it is, okay.